thank you, Mr. Minister. Now the floor. The floor is yours, Mrs. Commissioner. Thank you very much, and thank you, Horst. Uh, as you already said, it's not an easy task, and then it feels very good that you are now the, in the lead of the Council Presidency, and I think that you was leading this meeting today in an excellent way. Uh, as you already said, we read uh, that was really an encouraging discussion among the ministers uh, at today's Council. I think it's uh, very obvious that what we need is to have this cooperation and compromises on migration policy and not migration polemics. And I think that the discussion today show that. And we need, of course, a better way to manage migration together in the European Union, and that means that we mean that we need a more European migration policy. We talked a lot uh, today uh, on uh, this uh, proposal, of course, and member states were uh, very uh, uh, willing to start negotiating on the basis of our proposal, and in my view, there was a converging discussion, and that was uh, very encouraging. We talked a lot about returns, the need of uh, really being able to return those not eligible to stay. We talked a lot about how the importance of working very close together with third countries to be able to fight human smugglers, to be able to address the root causes of migration, and of course also to have good readmission agreement. And of course on the solidarity the solidarity towards refugees in need of international protection and the importance of stand up for the human rights and to the right to apply for asylum, but also, of course, the solidarity needed between the member states in the European Union. And I think it was a very good discussion. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to the work ahead. We have a lot, of course, to do, and the negotiations uh, starts, uh, and will start very soon. Um, you know the expression, uh, the devil is in the details, but as I'm very familiar with all the details in our proposal, I should also say that the possibilities lays in the details. So I'm looking forward to coming closer into the negotiations together with, um, with you, Horst, and together with the member states, and of course also then uh, with, with Parliament. We also had a good discussion uh, today uh, on the importance of police cooperation, and I will, uh, very much appreciate that you, Horst, had put this high up on the agenda during your presidency, because it's very timely and it's very necessary. Uh, we need to make sure that law enforcement is equipped for the times we are living in. And that means that we need to do much more to really be able to use uh, the... Um, to, to have the tools necessary to be uh, able to fight the criminal, criminal uh, activities. I should say that we have taken the Enkrushat case. That shows that we really need police cooperation. That shows that Europol is the center of this police cooperation. It shows that we need to deal with encryption, that we need to deal with big uh, volumes of data. And these are things that we need to address together. We also have the COVID situation, and Europol recently re uh, made a report showing that the, the COVID situation has made some of the trends that we've already seen even more, even quicker, about the cross-border uh, characterized of crime, but also the, the, the criminals could be more and more digital and using uh, new tools and new way of cooperation uh, for the, the criminal activities. So this was um, a really uh, good discussion as well. Thank you.